Hi everyone, here are the top nine reasons why you should consider using version 12. One, the step through mode. This feature allows you to run the simulation without the pressure of the clock, enabling you to teach in batch mode. Two, easier menu, simplified controls for running, stepping, learner activity monitoring, and using BOS, making the simulation more intuitive. Let's have a look. This is how you do game initialization in version 12. Click this button and the game is now initialized. Click this button to step through from day 0 to day 1, day 1 to day 2, day 2 to day 3. There's no clock involved. And this is your run as you have done this in version 11. Nothing changed here. This is the blue book. This is the slide in, slide out activity monitoring systems from your learners. This is the slide in, slide out improved boss. Three, pre-packaged product line. As you know, changing products from juice to say cars involves not only changing the name of the product, but also the dimension, the demand, the bill of material, etc. Let's see these parameters. So, for example, if you want to change the configuration from juice to, say, other product, you have to come down to the submenu of the general parameters, looking for the product. And here you can change the product name, the dimensions, the bill of materials, and so on. And you may have to even change the demand because every product line may have different demand uh, to make it more realistic. In version 12, we have pre-configured a few product lines for you, saving you time and allowing you to focus on teaching rather than setup. In version 12, if you click this button and the product menu, you will see the product lines that have pre been prepared for you. We have gadget, cafe drinks, automobiles, and medical masks. Each comes with its own explanation, such as the slides, allow you to just click and explain to your learners about the bill of material and dimension and so on and here are the summarized configurations for the products and you can load and change the product and if, before you load you can even see what product what parameters will change after you load it now in this case the game has run so we need to force the loading of a new product line and now if you look at the product you now have chosen cafe drinks and you can of course go back to the general modules and reconfirm that the product has been changed you can take a look at this it has been changed four improved bows the bows for version 12 has become more helpful let's try to ask some questions okay so let's try out this boss now every chat is a new thread so let's uh, not forget that so let's start with say how many ways to score the teams so it suggests that they are scoring by metrics and scoring by targets and it tells you the differences between them and let's say what is the difference between uh, robots and virtual learners? Okay, it says assign team for training for stealth exploration. Do not perform transactions. Typically for observation purpose and placeholder for within teams. Passive participant in simulation not actively engaging in decision making, which is correct. The robot learners are intelligent robot, engage in transaction, provide dynamic competitive environment, and so on. How many ways to teach? Okay, it's not clear. So tell me about step through. Step through mode allows to control the pace without a countdown clock. This feature is useful for guiding. So the boss has been um, better trained this time. So hopefully it will provide more help for the facilitators. Five, journals. 
Journals make teaching business transactions, particularly accounting, super easy. Combined with step-through mode, it helps learners gain clearer insights. Along with journals, you can also teach bank reconciliation and journal adjustment. In version 12, there is a new journal parameter called journal allow. Now, if you look at the description here, control whether learner can view the accounting journal for the game transaction. Now, if you set it to allow, by the way, this is defaulted to be no, which means it's not allow. But if you set it to allow, yes, then your learner will be able to look at the journal. Okay, so let's do a quick demo. Like initialize the game, look at the journal. The journal reflects the initial capital that is being paid into the company. Now, if I step through the game one day to another, then you will see that there are new journals coming in. For example, on day, the first day, they have to pay the salary staff to the staff, four of them, and that cost the company 1400 which is booked into the operating expense here, which also being reflected in the PL. So it's easy to reconcile the financial statement with the journals and with the logic of your game. There are two other parameters here under journal that is called maximum journal adjustment that we need the student to make and also the maximum bank reconciliation that we need the, the uh, learners to make. This is defaulted to zero. I have just set it to three, but uh, again, it's default to zero. So this is a setting determined number journal entry that's incorrectly posted, must be corrected by the learners. And this is also, I explained here, the setting special number of bank reconciliation that learners need to require to complete during the game. Now, there will be a separate YouTube or webinar about journal, journal adjustment, bank reconciliation and audit. Please stay tuned for that. Six. Location dual use. In version 11, a location could only be used either as a retail store or a warehouse. This restriction has been removed in version 12. One can set up both a retail store and a warehouse in the same location. The distance between them will be about 50 kilometers. Seven, budget and management reports. You can set up a budget and also look at the variance a few days later. These features help learners understand and manage financial aspects and performance metrics effectively. You can also activate management reports to show the budget variance as well as profitability per store. Now, if you'd like to know more about the budget and management report, you can always consult the Blue Book, which is now based on version 12. So say you'd like to know about budget, there is budget and management report, and there's budget and management report for learner. Click this, show it to me, and here you go. Quite detailed explanation about how the budget works, and also the management report. Back to the guide, and back to your page. Eight, R&D benefits. In version 11, we ran R&D to learn the concept of net present value and how a successful R&D project earns our intangible assets. In version 12, facilitators can make R&D a lot of fun. They can configure the R&D benefits, such as allowing a successful R&D project to increase production, improve space utilization, or reduce environmental impact. These benefits encourage innovation and strategic thinking with tangible outcomes from research and development activities. So for R&D, you can click the finance, research and development, allow. You will see the sub menu here. Now you can see this R&D project one, two, like you did in version 11. However, in version 12, you will have additional parameters, which is called benefit. So here we have R&D project one benefit. And it says here that this setting defines the additional benefit that results from successfully completing an R&D project one. Therefore, it makes the game a lot more fun because you as a facilitator can define what are the benefits if 
these projects has been selected as a success by the CEO. And if it is considered a success, then the result will be either double your retail staff capacity, you'll be able to double your marketing efficiency, you can reduce your environmental impacts by 50%. You can also consult the Blue Book for more detail or r and benefits. Read this slide to get more information. Nine, investor and IPO concept. Many students are into startups and dream of becoming the next unicorn. In Monsoon Sim version 12, you can teach students about securing investments and navigating the IPO process, providing a comprehensive understanding of business growth and funding. So we have a new course coming up, which is Monsoon Sim course, teaching startup to IPO. It involves taking your students from a startup phase making sure that they can generate some business and validate their concepts and then help them to secure the initial funding and make sure that they can achieve significant growth leading to Series A funding, Series B funding, and eventually to IPO. And if you visit our website under the event, you will see the course called Teaching Startup and IPO Course in Monsoon Sim, and this will lead to Facilitator Certification C1000. This is specifically designed for facilitator. So if you have gone through this, then you will get the C1000 certificate, which allows you to turn on the investor modules or the investor parameters and also the underwriter parameters. So I hope that uh, you will attend this course. So there you have it, the nine reasons for switching to Monsoon Sim version 12. Easier to teach, more to teach.